Hi guys, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss how to integrate the 3DS payment on the website using hosted checkout integration method. This is the agenda of the session. So we are going to discuss each point one by one. So let's start with first point. First point is to enable the 3DS in the hosted checkout profile on the Cybersource portal. So let's log in the Cybersource portal to enable the 3DS in hosted checkout profile. This is the cyber source login page. I have entered all my details. Let's click on login. Let's click on this to get an OTP. Click on confirm passcode. Click on continue. So we have logged in the cyber source portal successfully. You need to click on the payment configuration option. Click on the secure acceptance settings. Here you will find all the active profiles present with your account. Now you need to edit the profile which you are using for the payment integration. I am using this profile HOP Secure Acceptance for the payment integration. So let's edit this profile. There are three dots you can see you need to click on these. And here you will find an option of edit profile you need to click on it. Confirm. Now you need to go to the payment settings. The 3DS is enabled at the card level. You can see there are three cards present with my profile Bija, MasterCard and American Express. We are going to enable the 3DS for Bija card. To enable the 3DS for the Bija, you need to click on the setting option of Bija. Here you will see field called payer authentication. You need to check this field. This field is used to enable the 3DS. Now you need to click on submit. Now you need to save the profile, confirm, so you can see profile saved. So we have enabled the 3DS for the Bija card. You can enable the 3DS for other cards as well. After you have enabled the 3DS, you need to promote the profile to make the changes live. So here you can see promote profile option, you need to click on it and confirm. So profile is activated and you can see here active. So our 3DS change is live now. So this is how we can enable the 3DS at the profile level. Let's move on to the second point that is to create the case in the cyber source support center to enable the 3DS service. We are on the cyber source portal and you will have an option of support. Here you need to click on the support center. This is the cyber source support center where you can create the case. You need to click on the support cases. And here you have an option to create the general support request. So click on it. And here in the subject, you can mention enable payer authentication service in test environment for MID here you can enter the MID in the description you can write the same message here mention the MID for which you want the 3ds enabled once you fill the detail you can submit so you can see your case has been Raised. Cyber source team will share with you the 3DS boarding form in the case itself. So once you get the form, you need to fill that form and attach in the case. So let me show you the form how it look like. This is the form cyber source support team share, and you need to fill the details. So there are two tabs for test environment and one for live boarding request. So if you want to enable the 3DS for both test environment as well as live environment, then you need to fill both the forms. I filled the form only for test environment as I only wanted to enable for test environment. You can refer this instructions. So they have given the explanation of each field so that it is easy for you to fill the form. 
let me show you what I filled for the test environment. Here you can see my merchant ID, merchant name, country, merchant URL. So this is my local host URL and for which cards you want to enable the 3DS. So I have given three cards here. Then it is default and here you can select the option from the drop down. I have selected this option cruise hybrid API and secure acceptance. You can also select this cruise direct API if you are using the direct API or the SDK. This is for if you want to integrate the 3DS in the mobile app. This is how you can fill the details in the form. Once you fill the detail, you need to save after you share the attachment. The cyber source team will review it for any question. They will add the comment. It takes around four to five days to get an access. Normally you get the notification on the email if any comment is added on the case or you can also visit this case just to get an update. So this is how you need to create the case. Once you get the access, what you need to do, you need to visit the portal again and you need to go to this option pair authentication configuration and you need to check if these fields are filled or not org unit id api identifier and api key if these details are present means you got the access this is about how you need to raise the case and how you can validate if the 3ds is enabled or not here i have mentioned the cyber source endpoints which we can use for the 3ds payment integration the first endpoint is for the test environment and second endpoint is for the production for the demo application i have used the first endpoint let's visit the demo application which i have created so this is my local application where i have integrated the 3ds payment using hosted checkout profile so here you can see one link let's click on it we are on the checkout hop page where we have one button when we click on this button there will be a call to cyber source so basically we submit one form to cyber source and cyber source will display the checkout page which will have the billing address shipping address and card details form let's inspect this so here you can see this is the form payment form and this is being submitted to this url and this is the url which i mentioned in my previous slide these are the fields we are submitting to cyber source so let's click on this this is the checkout page which is coming from cyber source which is having the billing address form shipping address and payment details so let's fill the details email address and shipping address so we will copy the billing address details so there is a checkbox here so we have copied the details here we need to fill the card details so we are using the bija this is the card number we are using we need to give the expiry date so we can give any future date cvn number we can give any three digit number now we are on the review page this is the page also coming from the cyber source we can review the details and if necessary we can also edit the details now let's click on the pay to confirm our payment so this is the 3ds authentication form since we have enabled the 3ds with our profile that's why this form is coming here we need to enter the otp so for the test environment otp is hard coded 1234 so you can enter here but in the production environment you will get the otp on the mobile number let's submit it so the payment was successful and order placed successfully this is the order confirmation page now let me show you the transaction on the cyber source portal for this particular order so let's visit the cyber source portal this is the cyber source portal let's click on the transaction management click on the transactions So these are the transaction for the order we have created just now. This is the payer authentication setup call, payer authentication enrollment. So this is the challenge. 
means we got the authentication form on the website once the authentication is once the authentication is successful when we submitted the otp the cyber source trigger the authorization call you can see this so this is how the 3ds works in my previous video on 3ds i already explained these things in detail so you can visit my previous videos as well you can refer this video 3ds payment using checkout api where i have explained the 3ds working as well now regarding the code setup this is the project i created for hosted checkout with 3ds the code is exactly same as what we use for the hosted checkout without 3ds that's why i'm not going into details of the code for this 3ds if you want to understand the code details visit this video card payment using hosted checkout here i have explained internal working of hosted checkout and the code details as well please go through this video in order to understand the code setup and internal working of hosted checkout if you have any kind of doubt you can comment on the video that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video